Nope, I don't like that. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu Episode 6, where we're starting Chapter 5 of the Riverside Institute. Pierce and Officer Bradley followed the intruder to the secret meeting place of a cult set in a network of underground caves right under the Hawkins Manor. They witnessed a strange ceremony led by a Charles Hawkins very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled the police officer. As he tried to escape from him, Pierce found himself prisoner of a rock fall. Rushed to the Riverside Institute, he is in a critical state. It's time for us to enter madness. Mm. Ooh, oh, okay. Why are they holding me down? I got hurt in a rock fall. What? What? He's having a seizure. Oh, no. Strong and such. Subject? Oh. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what? What did you do to me? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. But I'm dead. He killed you. Oh, oh no! Don't. Are you sure he's bad? Don't say that. Don't say that. Keep it to yourself. He was dead. Me too. We we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No. Oh man. You should have kept that detail to yourself. Don't start talking crazy in the Riverside Institute. That's, that's no good. What happened to me? Where am I? Are they pumping this gas into here? Okay. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. Mm. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no. You're leaving this cell. Got the elder yeah. sign all over the place. I don't want him to find me. Hmm. I'm guessing that's not going to work. What is this stuff? <laughs> this foul gas again. Right? What are they doing here? Hmm. I don't like this. I guess we sit and wait. I mean, what else can you do? Can't even check our journal. Uh. Uh, okay. Still no journal access. Okay, we're either a little groggy or absolutely in a dream. Okay, well they want me to go in there. I don't want to go in there, so meh, we're just going to look for some, maybe a weapon or an alternate path. No, you're not going to let me investigate any of this. Okay. All right. No hidden objects. Oh my. They trapped Ananda and me. Pursued me right into their dream recess. They screamed all over their maps in the wake of my lonely wanderings. Are you 
you you're you're not saying that. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Shushing me. Joking. All right, okay. I'm sure we're going to have another traumatic event. If you say so, just let me out. That looks like a bear trap, Pierce. I don't know what that is on the ground, but you're going to walk right into it. It looks metal and pointy. Maybe not. When the last of them rises up, you will choose. I will not be here to bear witness to it, because you will have released me. No, I'm not releasing anybody. But the earth will resound to your cries. Or theirs. Okay. I don't want to free you. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. I don't want to free you at all. You there. Wake up. Come on. Stand up. We don't have much time. That's Dr. Colden. Okay. Are you going to get me out of here? Can you stand up? Yeah. Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, okay. I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I'm good on both. Clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Wait a minute. What do they do to the patients here? What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment. For problems they didn't have before going downstairs. Mm. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk right, about that. Right, right. We must not stay here. I should have asked how to get out. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them. And get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. Okay. Am I able to consult the diary now? Okay. So we have another hit to our sanity. Oh, it has gone down a little bit. Oh, indeed it has. We're still stable, though. The ritual was pretty traumatic. In the tunnels under the Hawkins mansion, Pierce witnessed the disemboweling of Officer Bradley by a man with a monstrous appearance. The men in gowns and their rituals had not succeeded in affecting the veteran. However, the brutal death of Bradley, the discovery of the identity of his killer, whom he recognized as the dead Charles Hawkins, as well as the latter's superhuman strength, managed to strike fear into him. Pierce still does not know if he should believe what he saw. He may even put these visions of horror to the shock caused by the death of Bradley, or he may put it down to a lack of oxygen provoked by the rock fall. Skills. We have two points available. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to go with spot hidden on both. Let's see. Darkwater inhabitants. We have Charles Hawkins. Charles Hawkins is alive. Ooh. Despite its crude and deformed appearance, this thing looked like Hawkins. He attacked Bradley after he recognized him. 
What could have happened to Charles on the night of the fire? I've never seen a Major Burns victim in such a state. Something's not right. Inventory. We got our hurricane lamp back. And Marie Colden. Officer Bradley's female friend works as a general practitioner at the Riverside Institute. She had figured out long before I arrived that Fuller was involved in the illegal activities. She wants to shed full light on the nature of his experiments and believes that helping me to solve the Hawkins case could advance her own investigation. Okay. As good a place as any to start. Nope. Oh, I imagine a lot of these doors are going to be locked. Right? I mean, what kind of an institute would it be if they left the doors open? What does this mean? Yeah, that's the elder sign. The star with the eye. <laughs> the paintings are cursed. What did he write about the painting? Wrote the paintings are cursed. He'll come for you. You can't escape. Sarah. Sarah. Hmm. Am I in an asylum? It sure seems like it, doesn't it? Oh, what have we here? What did they inject him with? Right? Oh, what have we here? Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. Who was this man? Hmm. In his eyes, this symbol must have some protective virtues. Yeah, it's the elder sign. All right. in the padded cell. Let's see. Let's read the full clue. In the cellars of the Riverside Institute and in one of the cells of the asylum, the same symbol, written in black chalk and repeated over and over again on the padded walls, does make one think. It represents a five-pointed star with, in its center, what could be a twig, a branch, or a feather. A few cryptic phrases accompanying the drawings, they do not seem to have a logical meaning. There is mention of a look a portal, and a painting. Finally, the patient's file, which fell when the guards tried to take him out, reveals that he received a visit from Sarah Hawkins. Got it. Okay. Someone known to Sarah. Just doing laps. Okay. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Just strapped down, laughing. Okay. <laughs> or no, the laughing is here. Poor wretch. Hmm. Can't let any of these people out. All the doors are locked. That bed's all overturned. Oh, look at the meals. Mmm. Delish. Dr. Colden, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you. Crouch. But we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. Mm. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, maybe, Doctor. Maybe I dawdled too long. When an enemy suspects your presence, Damn it. a white I'll marker have to find appears. a way of getting rid of those two myself. I told you not to let her come down. I know. Okay. So we're going to have to be very, very sneaky here. Did 
Doesn't look like there's anything really over here. We could fiddle with this. Nope, I don't like that. I don't like that. At all. I don't like that. Ugh. That didn't... That didn't take a hit to our sanity, did it? Oh, no. I'm gonna want to get claustrophobic. Let's just... Let's just be nice and low and slow here and be methodical and careful. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm going to see if there are sleeping pills left. Get one out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will you? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. Okay, okay. Good God. What could this machine be used for? What? What indeed? This is madness. Are they seriously thinking of transmitting the properties of this meat by electric current? This is the... What, the meat of the miraculous catch, right? The liquid connects it to the electric current. What are its properties? What are these crazy people on this island doing? Worse and worse. Hmm, okay. Let's stay low and be careful. This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. Hmm. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? Okay, so this could be one potential distraction. It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. Oh, wait, there's something in the back here. Okay, so I could just crank the voltage up. Hopefully there's no one here. Let's shut the door. Yep, okay, we're clear. Another Heidi closet. Sarah Hawkins. Mm. She was a patient here. Sarah Hawkins was interned at Riverside for fits of insanity a while before her death. She wasn't at her first attempt with the fire at the mansion. Hmm. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Dementia? Self-inflicted wounds? A document attesting to the fact that Irene Sanders, wife of Francis Sanders, had her husband interned after he had shown grave signs of madness. Interesting. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. Okay, so we've got some new clues to look at, um, but it looks like we've already been given the rundown on them. So we kind of figured Sarah Hawkins had had a visit here. Ooh, snap. We 
must not eat it. Never again. If I walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me. You there, come here. I don't know what you're doing there, but you don't seem to be friends with the nurses. That's right. I can help you. Help me, and I'll owe you one. Okay. What do you want? What do you have in mind? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Mm. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. I like that. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. I'm good with that, actually. Is it the noise that disturbs you? No, it's the nightmares. We all have them here. That's what wakes us up. And afterwards, there's no way to get back to sleep. Oh my. All right, I'll it's, find you some it's a pills. deal. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Okay. What is well enough inside me? I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars and swells and has there's people walking around in that room. It looks like the kitchen. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going, though. He enters me. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wait. There's a person right there. Okay. They don't seem to want to move, though. Okay, I don't think I'm getting to go that direction. I could try to sneak down the hallway this way. Is he sleeping? He is. Okay. But there is somebody patrolling in the back room. I can see the light moving. Alright, I need to let them go on their way. Yep, and then this person here. Alright. Alright. Let's follow in behind them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, four, five. All right. These people don't seem very talkative. Get me out! Don't let me sleep in here. I don't think I can help you. It's better to hide in the dark cell than a closet, I suppose. Okay, so at least the guards seem to have pretty s solid patrol routing. Just gotta find where this supply room is. Here he comes. All right. All right, there he goes. We're just gonna follow this one in a circle and try to stay behind him the whole way. It doesn't appear like he stops at all.
Nope, he's going to continue in a straight path. So let's just keep moving. He's already rounded the corner. Yep, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to move kind of fast, actually. So we have an open cell here. Oh, he's already rounded the corner. Oh, okay. So we'll wait to see the light from his lantern. And then we'll go. There's obviously nothing in that corner. Well, other than the, uh, the power switch, if we wanted to go that road. I don't know if I want to start flipping switches on the device yet, though. Stay well behind him. Yep, there's the one in that room. So now I'm wondering if we should have flipped the switches. Although I'm sure that's going to change up their patrol routes. If I had to guess. Question is, can I get past this guard while he's sleeping? What? I think we got a walker. He hasn't seen me yet. I mm. saw something over there. Just go out and shut the door. Hey! No! Oh my goodness. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go to the last checkpoint, uh, wherever that was. This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. Hmm. Did we check this stuff? Francis Sanders. According to his record, the patient seems to be suffering from psychosis. He gouged his own eyes out in an attack of delirium. That was the person that... Sarah Hawkins came to see. What is this? What is going on here? Oh, you know what? I was so anxious to get out of this room, I didn't even check back here. What is all this? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Right? Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? It's that oil again. Hmm. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? Perhaps we will be flipping some switches this time. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. We already get this all checked out in here. I don't know how far back our checkpoint was. So let's start flipping switches. I can still increase the load. Mm-hmm. That you can. Have I activated anything? Do we really want to go that road, though? Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. I just have to create a diversion. And that could very easily be done by getting the sleeping pills for that guy in his cell. But we're going to flip the switches anyways. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf. Sarah Hawkins. Yep, we're gonna. We've she checked all of that. Dementia, self-inflicted anatomy, 
Anthropology. Yep. Okay, nothing, nothing new. Nothing surprising. We're just recovering our bases. Mm-hmm. Here it comes. So we could keep flipping switches on the machine. But I don't necessarily know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It might be better just to give the sleeping pills to the to the person who's in need of them. But we're gonna flip them anyways. It's done. Now for the others. Oh! We're just going to hide out in here. That's all. I, saw something over there. I think it'll be okay. I think we can step out. Okay. I think we're doing all right. We got new clues. Um, let's make sure we didn't develop any traumatic events. Okay. It was just a little jump scare. It wasn't really traumatic. Now we'll wait for the guard to walk around. There's one more switch, but if we can get the sleeping pills... I don't want to stay in the spooky closet for that long. Okay, here he comes. Let's just stay right here. And all will be well. There'll be no problems. We'll be okay. goes rounding the corner so the real question is One, two, three, how do I get past five, the sleeping guard six, if the sleeping guard heard me when I opened the door or was it the other guard that heard me Mm. You, yeah, you there. Come yeah. here. What let's do make, you want? Let's make our agreement sleep. again. Sleep. Sleep. No. You want sleep? Yeah. You'll draw the guard. So, it's a deal. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. In the storage room. Okay. It could be that he's just a diversion for the sleeping guard so that I can get in the other room. Nope, we're not going that way. Not going that way. Administration. Exactly what I need. Locked. Hmm. Oh, we've got hidden objects. Breviary of Medicine. This heavy tome, the first in a series of three volumes, is the bedside book of every experienced practitioner. It contains all the recent advances in modern medicine. It's frequently found in the libraries of major medical universities. It is surprising to discover a copy in such an isolated place as Darkwater. Uh-oh, what have we here? Control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. Okay. We got our hidden object. Wait, the one guy said he was going to the supply room to look for pills. 
So I'll likely run into him there. It's locked. Locked. I don't see any lamps over here, though. Okay. All right. Perhaps we need to shut the door. Note to staff, last week's incident caused significant damage to the infrastructure, putting a stop to current experiments. This is unacceptable. From now on, the wheels to operate the gas stopcocks must be kept in the storage room after each use. Moreover, you must keep the register of use up to date. Dr. Fuller. The green gas leaves from here, and it runs through the whole building. Well, I wonder if I can change it now that I have the wheel. This valve controls the pressure. But if I change that, there will likely be somebody that comes in here. Dr. Fuller, I've repaired your machine as best I can. However, the piping has been damaged and I fear that gas is escaping. I cannot do any more in such a short time. All I can do is warn you, if the equipment is put under too much pressure, there is a risk of explosion. Okay. And where would we attach this control wheel, I wonder? Uh-huh. Now for the next step. Is that the road I want to go? So we make an explosion. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. We would not be able to go into here. A duct. Hmm. We'd need some kind of bolt cutters, though. Okay, well, we're learning. We're learning about this place, but I'm not prepared to activate any of that stuff yet. But if this guy went back to the supply room, he could still be in here. Let's see if we can pick the lock. There we go. Perfect. The last power switch... Hmm. And here we have some ducting. Ugh. So we're gonna crawl through this ducting? Oh. Not a fan. Hmm. Not a fan. Get out. Bolt cutters. Excellent. Let's leave the door open. Okay. What might this This be? lever must turn on the gas machine. Oh, I see, I see. But then wouldn't the explosion be centralized here? Um, I suppose there's only one way to know for certain. Let's increase the pressure. And then we'll increase this pressure. See, I'm concerned, though, we're missing a wheel. We put on a wheel there, but there's still a wheel missing on the other one. So we're just going to crank up all the pressure. This can't be good. 
Let's see, we're missing a wheel here. Let's cut back to the other room. We just won't dawdle. Right, right, let's... Let's get out. Okay, now, if we flip this switch... No, it said the wheel needed to be kept in the storage room. This isn't the storage room. But this might be the last... Oh, I'm not sure which diversion is going to be right or wrong. Let's flip the switch. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Maybe we need the gas to be increased and the power to be switched. And we're just going to blow up this whole place. Let's find the storage room and see if we can get the last wheel we need there. Storage room. Glad we leveled up that investigation. Perfect. All right, let's go in. Oh, somebody's in here. Hold on. So they're pacing back and forth on the other wall. Okay. And then they leave for a bit. Getting a hidden object notification, I can see. Oh, I don't know what I'm looking for. Sleeping pills and or a wheel. All right, so now we know roughly how much time we have before they come back. I'm just not sure where this hidden object is. Could be up high on the shelf. Ooh. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. Anything over here? Nothing. Ugh. See, if I had the pills and the guy made some noise, most of the guards would run over there. I could probably get in the last room. That guard returns relatively quickly. I think I'm going to have to stand up and actually look up higher on these shelves. I've been looking around all over the floor and I don't... Wait, is that it? It looks like a valve, but perhaps not. A sledgehammer? Oh my. Let's check these shelves. I don't see anything. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so now we have the wheel, but we still didn't find any sleeping pills. But we're not getting the hidden object notification anymore. I 
Perhaps we don't need... Uh, perhaps we don't need that as a way to complete this. But I would like to know what's in that one room. No, oh, this looks like an extension of the storage room. No, oh, the pharmacy. I need to know the pathing. Okay, all right. I know how we're going to do this. I've got it, okay. I wouldn't dare go behind him. I'm pretty sure he'll turn around because he doesn't stay here for very long. We're going to follow behind him, cut across and get to the other other room. Ooh. Okay, and then he's going to path all the way around the counter. Yep. Where do they keep their sleeping pills? And then he kind of stands there at the desk. Okay. All right. Scopolamine F. There's no such thing. There's no such They've thing. created direct. Small bottle of sleeping pills. My new friend's sleeping pills. Book of medicine. And what was he saying? They've created derivatives of all known remedies. Interesting. Okay. He'll go around, we'll cycle around, and we should have plenty of time to go. Yep, there's the light. Bingo. And we'll get our new friend those sleeping pills. Go ahead and exit through here and then shut the door. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Keys. But then I'd have to go through the kitchen. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We're going to give our friend some sleeping pills and we're going to do it this way. Here you go, my friend. I've got what you want. Yeah. Show me! You can there. have them. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The crows, they're everywhere. Make them go away. Okay. Question is, who did that divert? Go see the guy. He's making all that noise. You there? Oh no! Mm. So it just diverts the guy by the door. Okay. 
All right. Well, uh, that's where we're going to have to wrap up this episode. Oof, it went a little long indeed. This has been Call of Cthulhu Episode 6. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. Be sure to come back next time, though, as we hopefully finish the asylum, because I think our last checkpoint was right when we handed in the sleeping pills, thankfully. Uh, remember to drop a like if you're having fun watching the series, and subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already done so already. But until next time, take care.